Ooh. Jiminy Cricket, what are you doing? Are they poisonous? Sorry. Can I touch it? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm scared. Ooh. Oh, he's looking at me. Can you help me? Alright, container, container. Oh, goodness me. Okay, come on, dude. Come on. Climb on. Good job. Alright, let's go. Alright, it's day 12. We're gonna go let Jiminy Cricket out and then plant these seeds. There you go, dude. So cool. Get off. The ride is over. All right. Well, while he sorts himself out, day 12. Zinnias. Very pretty. Oh, wow. there's so many in here. There were so many zinnias that I got to plant them in a few spots in my garden. So I'll show you all three spots that I planted them in and hopefully they grow up to be beautiful flowers that then I can transplant into different places. in there a little root, a little chicken oh my god there's so many eggs we have too many eggs perched on my foot where are you taking the food come back with morning chores underway i thought i would pick some of the dandelion flowers that we have growing prolifically out on the nature strip we don't spray and we don't use any chemicals around so we know these are going to be safe to pick and also to eat. So as I'm picking these, I'm discovering that some are definitely dandelions and others are you yeah, daisies. <laughs> See the pink? Our fake history. My name is Sebastian Major, and this is the podcast that explores historical myths and tries to determine what's fact, what's fiction, and what is such. We are finally out on our bus today. I'm sanding down the floors. They're going from looking like this, covered in sticky glue, to this beautiful white ply underneath, ready to have our flooring put onto it. I'm still not sure how we're insulating the floors because we need to be aware of height. We don't want to lose too much headroom. So that's something to keep in mind, but we'll keep you guys updated as things progress. Sam is currently cutting into the windows and then siliconing them up, making sure everything is watertight. He has officially finished this side of the bus. And so he only has this side to go. That's the next thing he'll be doing. <sighs> It is definitely a hot day today, so after we finish up in the bus today, we're planning on heading out to the beach again and just spending some time there. Today is build a sand man, so I will definitely be doing that. But check out how filthy your hands get just from being in the bus at the moment. Gross. Anyways, I better get back to it.
Now that it's getting hot outside, the bus is definitely warming up as well and it is hot in here. I am sweating. Um, opening up the windows though on either side really work to cool down the space and once we have things like fans and air conditioner, it's going to be even better. And curtains, I think curtains will make a massive difference because we can cover up the windows from the sun and also open up the windows on the other side to create a cross breeze without the heating element. <laughs> I'm planning on making a dandelion syrup that I can use for a few different projects and if you are trying to make something with dandelions you need to be aware that they're a flower that closes at night time so the same day that you pick them is the same day that you should rip off the petals to be able to do whatever project you want to otherwise they'll close up and make it a lot harder for you. As I mentioned earlier, we decided to spend the morning working on the bus and on the homestead doing a few projects and then take the afternoon when it was warm to go down to the beach to enjoy with the dogs. Today we went down to Marimbula, down to a beach that way and we picked up some burgers from our favourite place to enjoy at the beach as well. Not the best beach meal but it was still really tasty. We love spending our summers this way and what I absolutely love about the beaches down on the south coast is that they're covered in native flora, beautiful shrubs and trees and you can really see that it's part of the landscape. As I mentioned earlier, I am making a little sand man while we're here at the beach. My first attempt was on dry sand which didn't end too well but I definitely changed over to some of the wetter sand closer to the water for the second part. Um, and this seemed to work a lot better. Of course, as luck would have it, just as I go to finish it, a random dog comes over to play with our dogs um, and almost knocks it over quite a few times. So I've had to protect my little sand man so I can finish him. Luckily, Sam kept an eye out and Eris distracted the rest of the dogs by taking them away. <laughs> of course, a Sam man would not be finished without accessories. And so for my snowman, I'm going to accessorize him with some pig face for the nose. I found a dry one that kind of looks orange like a carrot. I also have a little tumbleweed that I found, which is going to make a very funky hat or hair um, and a few like little shells or I'm not quite sure what they were. They kind of felt like seed pods or something um, that I'm going to be using for the eyes. He's a very funky little sand man, but I'm very happy with how native and <laughs> to the landscape he is. This was lots of fun. I highly recommend just embracing your inner child, going out there and doing something silly. Even Sam had a lot of fun jumping on my snowman when I was done. I keep saying snowman, sandman. He had a lot of fun jumping on my sandman. Am I the only one who after a day at the beach feels super exhausted and has no motivation for anything else? Yeah, I hope there's some more of you out there as well. So this is the next day now and I'm finishing it off my dandelion syrup. I'm adding in all the other fixings like sugar and lemon and boiling it down into a syrup. I am really curious to know whether this is how golden syrup is made because it was almost identical. So the syrup started like almost caramelizing and going really dark. So I think I'm gonna cool it and turn it off here. Very interesting. Whenever you're pouring hot liquid into a glass jar, it's always a good idea to pour a little bit first. Kind of swoosh it around. This is the same thing you would do with like a glass teapot, which I, of course I have. Um, before you pour in the rest. This just prevents anything from exploding and also you won't waste everything before you pour it all in. I wonder if that's how golden syrup is made. Could you imagine? We could all be making it out of our weeds instead of uh, perfume. 
purchasing it. I was so inspired by the golden syrup that I decided to go and take advantage of the last few dandelions out the front of my nature strip. Chilberry. And I'm going to try dehydrate these so that I can use them in a tea. Dandelion can be eaten in all parts, roots, flowers, and leaves. So I'm super excited to give this a go. Thank you so much for watching our video today. I hope you're enjoying today's video, but also Vlogmas in general. If you didn't know, I'm posting a video every single day for the month of December up until Christmas time. And I'm trying to incorporate lots of what's happening on the homestead as well as some festive things. So I hope you're enjoying that. Let me know what your favorite part of today's video was and head over to our Patreon page if you would like to support us further. The recipe for this peri-peri sauce will be on there.